It was a regular day in California. The boy named Bob was just wondering <laughs> what he should listen to next. He opens his phone and he sees a new release. And the new release is this. <laughs> KLK by Arca featuring Rosalia. Rosalia, the artist I admire, enjoy. You can see a lot of videos I made already for Rosalia's songs. You know that I really enjoy Rosalia's music. So I am here as fast as I could. You know, I've been busy, but I'm here. I'm, I'm here, I'm here <laughs> to listen to the song. Um, I've never heard of Arca though. Not sure who this artist is, but this person seems very um, experimental, I would say. Like it gives me, um, when it comes to musical, uh, scene uh, obviously I'm talking about like it, it comes across as uh, not traditional but rather like very experimental uh, we're gonna explore new things KLK by Arca featuring Rosalia first reaction let's go <laughs> I think I'm not ready <laughs> I think I'm not ready for this kind of <laughs> with uh, this kind of song it's gonna it's gonna be a hit. It's gonna be it's gonna be hit, like a hit song, and it's gonna be heat like a fuego. Mm. All right, let's play. Let's play. Whoa. Okay, I've never heard Rosalia in this type of production. Plus, um. This um, production reminded me of Charlie XX and Sophie. Now this part reminds me of M.I.A. I actually don't know if I'm feeling this or not. Hmm. Also, if you know me, <laughs> uh, if you have watched this channel before, uh, I don't have the easiest time when it comes to this type of production. Uh, it's a hit or miss for me. Sometimes I enjoy it, sometimes I'm not. So uh, let me actually listen to the song one more time with my headphones and uh, I'll be right back with my thoughts. Okay, I'm back with my thoughts. Uh, I researched a little bit about Arca. She actually worked with Frank Ocean before, um, Kanye West, Bjork, and Rosalia, who is a fan of Frank Ocean, must be very happy about the fact that she has worked with Arca. Uh, at this point, uh, Rosalie and Arkham, I, I don't know how to feel about this song still, like, it is very unique, and I like the production, actually, it's really interesting, but it's not something that I would, like, play on a regular basis, you know, it's not appealing for, to my ears enough, um, for me, like, this type of production, again, as I said, it's not the easiest, like, like, the all technological, uh, sounds that um, like abrasive sounds that uh, this type of production has I'm just sometimes I'm just not not in that mood or not um, in that feel I guess I'm not really into that groove I'm just not really feeling it like oh yeah like I'm not really like bumping my head or like not getting excited by when I hear this type of uh, production like Sophie has, for example. I can see myself playing this song from time to time, but I'm not sure if I will be like fully on board with it and fully enjoy it as I, I want to, because it's a really cool song. It, it is a cool song, for sure. It, conceptually, it's really nice. It, it's, it has been made um, with an interesting touch with, uh, on it, but I'm just, yeah, it's just difficult for me. Right now, I feel like 6 out of 10. Um, again, like I like what's happening. Um, I like the innovation, but 
I'm just not really fully in. I'm not really. Um, it's not an amazing song to me. Um, not really compelled to listen to it over and over again. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's a problem. Unfortunately, nicely done, but I'm not into it. Shortly, uh, surely put. Okay, yeah, so those are my thoughts. <laughs> Nothing much to add. I, I, li I liked how Rosalia keeps experimenting, though. Um, she has done a lot of genres of music at this point, and um, she never stops surprising. Like this one, I would never think that she would have done something like this, but it's such a short time. In two, three years, she already um, tried so much, like from flamenco to reggaeton to this now i like apale and tekken uh, i would never imagine apale and tekken like songs like this from rosalia back in 2018 for example when she was just doing malamente and dimi nombre uh, i yeah i would never assume that she would be doing songs like this and now like i i, I like till yesterday i would never <laughs> i never thought that rosalia would be on a um electronic production like this you know so i'm just excited what's next for Rosalia, um and uh, hopefully uh, there will be a body of work full album at some point i, I was thinking that it's gonna be on in 2019 because she she kept dropping singles after singles but it didn't happen maybe uh, rosalia numero tres will happen at some point in 2020 we'll see about that but uh, until then, yeah, yeah, um, excited still about Rosalia for sure, one of my favorite female artists actually at this point, uh, 6 out of 10 for this particular song, maybe will grow on me, we'll see, I don't know, but after two listens, uh, it's not detrimental, maybe I will uh, enjoy, <laughs> start enjoying the song like a year later, you know what I'm saying, when I will finally get it, I finally will get it, uh, get that appeal, uh, like for example, you know the song Unforgettable by French Montana and Sway Lee, like, I, I didn't like that song at the beginning at all, like, I, uh, only after a year, I kind of, <laughs> like, after, like, it was on the radio one day, uh, everybody, when everybody was listening to it, I, I was not on board, but just, like, by myself on the radio, it was, like, kind of hitting, like, the chorus, unforgettable, like, it was just nice vibe, I was like, damn, yeah, it's a good song, <laughs> like, you know, after a year, only, like, yeah, and it it has been numerous times where you don't appreciate the fir uh, the song at first, and it's like you move move on, and then it comes back, and it's like you look at it uh, with a different angle, and like damn, actually, f damn, I missed it. <laughs> I actually love the song <laughs> now. Uh, Post Malone circles. While I give it a positive rating, I didn't really listen to it after, but then. In this year, in 2020, I started listening to it a lot. Circles by Post Malone, which is interesting uh, phenomenon. But um, yeah, so things like that. Anyway, though, leave me uh, in the comments below your opinion about this song. Um, KLK, yes, KLK. Give give me your thoughts on this, and um, say hi to me. <laughs> how are you doing? Like, how are you doing through this pandemic? I mean, we're still living uh during difficult times uh, let me know how you're feeling and what are you, what are you going through hopefully everything is fine with you guys uh, all right i'm gonna stop talking hit the like button subscribe to this channel and i'll see you guys in the next videos goodbye